and welcome to the Tech Raptor Podcast. My name is Andrew Stretch, and for today, I am your game show editor. Um, you know, this week, slow news and everything going ahead. Instead of uh, doing a traditional podcast, uh, I decided that I would quiz uh, my co-hosts and see how much they remember of 2021. So, welcoming our contestants. Our first contestant enjoys petting Grogu and investing in fake meme currencies on the internet. Rutledge Doggett, the CEO and founder. Go ahead and say hi there. What's up, everybody? Our next contestant enjoys long walks on digital beaches and cosplaying as the new Tech Raptor mascot, Robert Scarpinito, our features editor. I, I, I'm going to be honest. We all walked into the studio and Stress just started talking about quiz shows. I don't think there's consent here. Oh, right. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> please send help. Anything. Send help, please. And our final oh, tech contestant of the day had to be here. Andrew on our editor in chief. Oh, no, no personalized. I see. <laughs> you just had to be here. <laughs> I see. I see how it is. We just needed a fourth person. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I'm really glad you've been considered. So... I, I realized I was the last call, but thanks for including me. Yeah, it's just nice to talk to people sometimes. Yeah, it's just nice to be here. Get out, you know. I'm just glad for that. Thanks. <laughs> so uh, our I'm questions trying. will will uh, <laughs> break this quiz out into three different parts. We've got some mini games in the middle and a big final question at the end to try oh, to figure God, out mini games. Who knows the <laughs> most about <laughs> Mario Party? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is this is the problem when the when the guy who normally DMs weekly says, "Hey, I've got an idea for a podcast," and you guys say, "Sure." Now, uh, he, and by the way, he told us this last night. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I'm half expecting him to be like, no, under your chair, you'll find a character sheet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. How did you get in my house? <laughs> <laughs> now, Rutledge, I want you to go outside and dig underneath the second tree on your property and tell me what you find. <laughs> I only have one tree now. I had to tear the old one out. Oh, no, I there's still a second one. I think one. you'll find that a second was dug in the night. <laughs> That's even scarier. <laughs> so, um, it, it should be pretty simple. There'll be some that I'll ask for each of you individually, and then if you get it wrong, we'll pass on to the next person. Um, and some I will ask you to all answer at the same time, and then we will run through the answers. But without further ado, uh, let's launch right into round one. Oh, God. All right, so we have the PlayStation 5, we have the Xbox Series S and X, you know, while we've had issues with production and getting them in players' hands, they've now been out for a year, with that next gen has become current gen, but Rutledge, what gen is that? <laughs> Nine? Is that your final answer? Yes. That is correct. Fuck yeah. First point to Rutledge on the board. Oh my god, he actually picked up a pen and paper. I want everyone to know he picked up <laughs> pen and paper for this. He is actually keeping uh -oh. track of points. This shit is yeah. serious, bro. This isn't this isn't some who's line bullshit, the points don't matter. No. <laughs> you know all the that winner money will be that Rutledge steals every every week? <laughs> That's being put in the pot. That was what it was being stolen for. That's what we're playing for. If any of us ever leave, this is how Stretch is choosing the, the next co-host. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, March 31st became very well known this upcoming, oh, this previous year, um, as the day that Mario would die. Robert, why is that? Because, because Chris Pratt knew <laughs> in his heart <laughs> that he'd be voicing Mario and is like, I can't let the world, I can't let the world see this. I have to kill Mario now. I don't know. I think that Chris Pat Chris Pratt could do a pretty convincing death rattle for Mario. That that may not be the reason. Um, Andrew, what do you what do you think? Why was March thirty first the day that Mario would die? I I have no idea. No clue. No clue. No, I would say. Um... Give it your best. I, don't know. I some, believe some you. QAnon bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> QAnon was involved somehow. <laughs> JFK Jr. and Mario are tied together what is it, somehow. Dr. Mario is promoting the vaccine. That's right. Dr. <laughs> yeah. Dr. Mario's pro-vax and 
He needed to die. Hmm. Well, that is unfortunately incorrect. That's bullshit. <laughs> it can be. I, well, who are the judges? I need the judges in on this one. Uh, the judges are me, myself, and Ayn. We've had a little bit no. of a chat back here, and We're unfortunately, you're still wrong. Fake news. This is all fake news. <laughs> uh oh, I'm pigeonholing myself into a... into a character. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. That can. I mean, the next time we do the game show, you get to be conspiracy theorist. That can be fun. Yeah. Uh, uh. Okay. Conspiracy theories were fun, and now they're they've been taken over. It's because it used to be like the the smaller percentage that you could just like giggle at in the corner, and yeah. now they're running the country. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's less funny now. Yeah, a little yeah. bit. So Rutledge, do you have the answer for me? Why was March thirty first the day that Mario would die? Did Kotaku tweet it? No? Wow. That's the only thing I can think of. I'm going right back to the last episode and what Master Chief's suit does to him. Uh, yeah, no March 31st was the day that Mario would die because that's the day Super Mario 3D All-Stars bundle was getting removed from Switch sales. Oh, that's fucking right. I this was that back when they it. released a limited time oh. bundle of three Super Mario games that had all been released. Um... Which is quite funny because in the past few months, one of those three games has appeared as a free game in the expanded Nintendo Switch Online collection. <laughs> free asterisk. Yeah, it's it's Nintendo getting further and further into the the Disney Vault yes, idea, straying further uh, from uh, well, God's light. Yeah, those are just NFTs. They were just ahead of the game. With that <laughs> it's just an NFT. Oh no! <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, digital no. scarcity, because that's what we need in real life, yeah. <laughs> where where yeah. people are selling their their kidneys for amiibos. We definitely need digital scarcity. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I'm I'm just gonna go ahead and give myself a point for that one because that was a great <laughs> question. Good job, me. Oh, and it's like, so the, it's like if, if none of us get it, Stretch gets a point. <laughs> it's like Blackjack oh, no. dealer wins, right? <laughs> So in the end, he's just going to win. Okay. Um, conspiracy theorist Andrew Otten. Famed conspiracy yeah. theorist Andrew Otten. Well known. The government's going to kill me someday. <laughs> yeah, let's keep hammering on that. <laughs> we have seen a number of games from Microsoft released on Sony consoles. We've seen Minecraft this year was Deathloop um, with like a little asterisk because that's kind of a technicality. But which Sony published game this year was not only released onto Xbox day one, but was even day one Game Pass. A Sony oh. published title that was day one Game Pass. Man, I know this because I think we talked about it. We talk about a lot of things, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> this may have been one of them. Oh... I'm just trying to think what was a day one Xbox thing. I'm going to give you a hint. There's a lot of day one Xbox yeah. Game Pass titles. I am. Uh, man, I feel like a fucking moron. <laughs> is there like a. I don't know. Is there a Jeopardy timer? Um, I'm going to just. No, I'll I'll cut him off when I feel like it's. I've let him stew for long enough. Rut's got I a bit of a like smirk, so I think that he either might know sure it or might be know. enjoying the commentary. I got, I got <laughs> no <laughs> idea. Not, not. A it's like the Resident Evil. No. I, I I'm it's, trying it's to. It's not your turn to answer, sir. Somehow. Please calm down. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Do you want to take a, a shot in know. the dark, Otten? I no, I have no idea. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't know, or I have no idea is not the correct answer. Rutledge, how can I how can I torture you today? Uh, Resident Evil Village. <laughs> Resident know. Evil. Resident Evil published by Sony. I don't know. Come on. They man. they did I believe have the marketing on it, um, but unfortunately, no, that's not the right answer. Uh, Robert. Well, I'm glad that I'm at bat for this curveball that Stretch is trying to throw us. It's MLB The Show. It is MLB The Show 2021. Oh, that's right. I forgot they do that. It was, it yep. was due to pressures from MLB Advanced Media. Sony had 
no say in it according to the reports <laughs> which yeah. you know you've got to feel good when your exclusive series <laughs> um, <laughs> gets gets handed to the competition scrappy that is a point for you a very strong point i was getting worried there <laughs> Scrappy's Rubbish. the only one that plays sports games, apparently. Not even. <laughs> I just remember that story because it's fucking funny. Rutledge, the world is filled with confusion. As the Super Mario movie cast with it was announced, memorable celebrities Chris Pratt voicing Mario, Anya Taylor-Joy as Princess Peach, and the amazing casting choice of Jack Black as Bowser. Who is it again that's playing Toad? Uh, who? The uh, fuck. Steel. I know. <laughs> hmm. I'm Interesting. blanking on the name, but it starts with a K. Starts with a K. Uh. Fuck. Is it a? I mean, there's so many other great cast <laughs> members in there as well. Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong? How cool is that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm blanking. Like cool? I don't know if cool is the right word. Blanking? Completely? Yep. Throw a guess blanking out. Completely. You uh, know it starts with a K. So that, I don't want to get the name wrong. It's actually it's Kim Kardashian. <laughs> that Kim was Kardashian. <laughs> yeah, Kim yeah. Kardashian, yeah. Okay, unfortunately, that is incorrect. Yeah, somebody else is going to get this. Robert, oh, we're going to go to you again in this rotation. I'm thinking Keegan-Michael Key, right? And that is Damn. correct. There it is. Damn. Keegan Michael Key. I was thinking that, but Fa completely reversed with the names. Key and I just Michael didn't Keegan. want to get it wrong. Michael Key Keegan. So he's famous for you know making up weird names, like Toad. That's a, fa that's a famous. <laughs> to Toade, Toade, Mario. Okay, now on to uh, your question, Rob. Mm. What game? was Yuji Naka working on prior to leaving Square Enix? Okay, I feel like this is a trick question. Balan. Balan, Un Balan Wonderworld, it is, right? Yeah. It is Balan Wonderworld, yes. Okay. My br I was about to say Balan <laughs> Underworld, which I feel like is maybe just a reflection of the quality of the game. Was that question <laughs> sponsored by Dash? <laughs> no, I had a feeling that if he even bothered to listen to this, uh, that he wow. might get a slight kick out of it. I guess he's we'll find out this week if he does too, when he replies to yeah. what you just said. <laughs> he's yeah. too important on Twitter to to bother with us little people. We know that. Right. We know that. <laughs> okay. You know, there was a lot of really, really strong companies, really strong games that came out this year. Uh, but, Andrew, Stadia started off the year kind of shakily. Um, mm. In February, what big business decision did they announce? big business decision yep stadia in february made a big business decision um that you know maybe showed some of the confidence that they had in their in their plans what did they announce or what did they yeah what did they what did they announce their plan was going forward stadia as we know is is one of the top game streaming platforms truly the greatest I mean, it's in the top five there are only maybe four, only five only four come to mind <laughs> it's in the top five uh i want to say i know it has something to do with the stadia pro stuff mm. i want to say it's through the subscription but i honestly don't pay um, any attention to stadia don't remember <laughs> that's excellent because this question is coming I, to you next what I mostly remember about Stadia is our article we did on them and them getting mad about it. But Oops. That's about... That actually happened twice. It. Um, I don't know. Okay. Well then, Rutledge, what was what was the business decision that Stadia made that uh, was, was quite, you know, worrying for them to make in February? It has to do with the pro subscription. No, that's, that's just what, what that's just what Andrew said. Who knows what I know? I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna let you know it's not to do with the pro subscription. <laughs> yeah, I, I got nothing. I haven't even used no. Stadia. <laughs> <laughs> so 
I don't even know what features are there. Rob, do you have do you have any ideas? I, I feel like they stopped offering something. Kind that's, of. That's as they, far they as I can go. Something. Oh, I know what it is now. <laughs> oh. Okay, well, I remember it now. Rob, oh, I'm well. going to give you a couple of a couple of seconds to try to answer, and if you don't get it, then then I will toss it back to Andrew because oh. I make up the rules. Rounder, Robin. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna well, say they You know what's gonna be great is I won't know it. <laughs> I'll be wrong. <laughs> give you every chance and you're still not gonna get it. Yeah, no, I've I've got I'm pretty sure I know it. Because I know I know it's like life. they stripped they stripped something back or like stopped offering a thing. I just don't remember. Oh, you're so close. You are so close. Yeah. Andrew, what do you got? They uh shut down first party development of games. That was it. Raymond strikes again. <laughs> yep, that <laughs> was it. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. I forgot about that. Yeah, they stopped. They're not going to be making first party title. Although all that studio's gone. Yeah. So they they announced that they were canceling all plans for first party games going yeah. forward. <laughs> that um, was fast. <laughs> <laughs> but in 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 their defense, while they might not have had the confidence in Stadia first party, they did say that they were looking to pivot those 150 affected developers into um, other positions. I'm not sure how much of that yeah. came to pass, but hey, it's at least nice of them to uh, to offer that. Sure. <laughs> and right, you've at least played Cyberpunk on Stadia, right? Mm -mm. No, nothing no. Stadia. I've got my Stadia controller around of. here somewhere. I've got mine on my shelf behind me in a in the box. Ooh, mine's in the box also. Collector's edition. I was a I was an idiot and I pulled it out of its box. That'll probably be worth millions one day. Yeah, I've got three uh, Steam links, so nice. <laughs> Russ got an Ouya in his box. I do have too. an Ouya. <laughs> yeah, somewhere. I don't know where it is right now. Do I need to? Do I need to bring out my bag of consoles again? <laughs> no, not that cursed thing. Not again. My, my cursed bag of consoles. <laughs> oh God. All right. So, so we're back to rut, right? Yeah, we're back to rut now. Uh, this will probably be another another fun one. Telltale Games is not the only company to rise from the grave in 2021. Which mouse-owned publisher was announced to be revived earlier this year? A bonus point if you can tell me what title they're currently working on. Mouse-owned. Is that mouse-owned? Mouse-owned. Mouse-owned. Is it LucasArts? Because didn't they shudder for a while? That is correct. LucasArts, can you tell me what one of the titles is that they're currently working on? Currently? Is it Eclipse? I know uh, their name's included there, but... Yeah. Not, not directly. Not directly. Oh, directly developing. Well, they're... Sorry, they're working with Bethesda on it. I got no idea. No, anyone for a Bethesda LucasArts game? No, I got, I got, no. That is Indiana Jones. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, I forgot they did do that announcement. Hi, yeah. welcome to early 2021, where Holy we don't shit. remember yeah. anything. Yeah, yeah, we don't remember the beginning of the year, apparently. Dude, I don't Not even all. remember Q3. <laughs> that's going to be great. For some of my later questions, <laughs> when we deep dive into the early years. Oh my uh, gosh. So, Robert, now, mm. COVID has caused a number of delays across the world and across many industries, and we have seen our fair share of it in video games as well. Not counting games that, you know, we, we didn't have release dates for or games that were just delayed from 2021 into later parts of 2021, can you name three games that were delayed into 2022? No, but I can try. Uh, <laughs> Dying Light 2. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh, not... No, not... No, Sifu had a window in 21, right? And then moved to 22. Yeah, Maybe. I'll count that. Okay, all right. Oh, I'm so close. Uh, do I get like two, <laughs> two thirds of point for this? 
Uh, you won't get uh, two thirds. I will give you four sixths of a point, though. Okay. Well, they had to. Do they have to be delayed from twenty one to twenty two, or do we just know they got? Yes, it? they need to be delayed from twenty one into twenty two. Fuck. Um. What were you thinking? What were you thinking? I was thinking Elden Ring because I know that got a delay, but it was like from twenty two to twenty two. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that was already. Uh, that was also just like february to march right that's barely a delay yeah yeah but i think it, it almost counted <laughs> <laughs> um oh king of fighters 15 because they they delayed that i think that had a 21 window into 22 I that is not on my cheat sheet list but that was on the list that i brought up so yes i will give you that point Ooh, hell yeah uh, some of the other indie titles that you may have mentioned would include Horizon Forbidden West, mm. The Lord of the Rings Gollum, Prince of Persia, God of Gotham War. Knights, God of War, <laughs> Gran Turismo Seven. Just these little titles. Yeah. I'm small. glad that you I'm glad that you pulled King of Fighters Because <laughs> <laughs> I know we were talking about rollback netcode and I was like, there's there's the leap. There's where there my brain is. went. There it is. Oh, that's good. <laughs> hey, Kratos doesn't have rollback net code. I don't want to hear shit. <laughs> uh, oh, did did PlayStation All Star Battle Royale have rollback? I don't think it did. <laughs> I don't think it's, so. It's the reason for its downfall, right there. Yeah, yeah. That's the only thing. Has he been <laughs> in any other fighting games? Kratos. Because uh, I know Master was, Chief. Was he in a Soul got... Caliber? <laughs> That's the only thing, yeah. <laughs> Kratos might have Maybe. been in a Soul Cal. Could have been. I don't know. Soul Cal is weird. Yeah, like, legitimately yeah. just a weird franchise. I mean, Geralt was in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, so was Yoda. And Link. <laughs> yeah, Link, yeah. And Spawn. When was the last time Spawn was relevant? <laughs> uh, Mortal Kombat 11. Oh, was he in that one as well? I think so. So Spawn, I mean... I'm sure that Spawn has still popular, um, popular comics going on, but Spawn's really just like his video game history has been like a bad original Xbox game, and then cameos in fighters. I guess so. We need a responsance. Oh, I'm sure that, I get it. I'm sure that someone will uh will correct us in the comments. He was in Soul Calibur Broken Destiny. Who was? Oh, Kratos? oh, hey! There you go. <laughs> That's all As a that mid-tier would... character. <laughs> was that was that you that made that joke, Otten? No, uh, I'll About take credit for it. But no. Soul Cal? No. Oh, that Who he brought up Soul Cal? Cal? That was me. That was yeah. Scrappy. Okay. Do I, I immediately bonus? googled it because I wanted if, to know? <laughs> if it had been Otten, I would have given a bonus point because he's on a big goose egg at the moment. Ah. But uh, you're in the lead, so I'm not going to give you a point. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I keep getting hard questions. I know the other answers. I knew Keegan Michael Key. It's you okay. You the, should delay. You should be able to get this one pretty easily. God, don't uh, say that. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I really, I've just, I've just thrown the questions in whatever Who's order. Who's the main character of the Mario Brothers? Oh shit! <laughs> Mario, Mario, and his Waluigi. brother Mario Luigi. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, this year we had the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Anniversary Edition. Once again, players could set foot into the vast worlds of Skyrim. If we were to include porting to brand new consoles or releasing bundled or updated versions, how many times has the game been re-released? Oh, oh. oh no. I mean... Oh, what a brutal question. <laughs> <laughs> you should be able to get this easily. If it's Easy. been put on a new console, that counts as one? Oh, it's like, if it... Well, uh... <laughs> Like when it's when it's released all together, like the original Skyrim releasing on PlayStation 3, 360, and PC. Yeah, yeah, that's one. Yeah. That's one. Yeah. So there's really only one instance where it was specifically released for a new system. So say so you've already got you've already got at least three. Yeah. Well, I mean, we got the original one. Mm -hmm. We got when it comes to Switch. Mm -hmm. so that was its own. We got the one when it comes to PS5 and all that crap. Uh. Yes. And then I know there's Legendary Edition. Yeah, Legendary, Legendary Edition's one. And then this Advanced, I was going to say, Anniversary Edition. Yeah. Um, 
So that's five, I thought, right? And then, oh, wait. Uh, didn't they make like a Skyrim VR? So is your answer that count? six? Sure. That is correct. Oh, shit. <laughs> Congratulations. Can I ask, where does Skyrim Alexa fall into this? And bonus yeah. point for Scrappy today. Sure. If anyone brought up the Alexa edition, <laughs> they would get a point. <laughs> Um, that that Echo Edition is actually pretty fun. I put it on sometimes when I'm a uh, when I'm cooking or just like around the house. Um, it's a it's a pretty weird game. It's like all based on like random dice rolls and stuff, which is a uh, pretty fun. Hmm. Rudd, yeah. do you know who was in the commercial that announced the Echo Edition of Skyrim? It starts with a K. <laughs> <laughs> is it key, Michael key? It was... <laughs> yes. No points for that though. But that was a oh. fun callback. I feel like we're gonna have a lot of fun callbacks in future <laughs> episodes to this specific one. Mm. <laughs> so we're now out of the first round. With that, we come to our first mini game. Oh, no. So there is going to be one question but there is four opportunities for points. I want you to, and this will be one of the ones that you uh, that you write to me in chat. Um, I want you to tell me a title of a new game that released this year, a sequel that released this year, a third game in a series to release this year, and oh, a Jesus. fifth game in a series to release this year. But why though? <laughs> <laughs> so, everyone's new game uh, from Auden we had Deathloop from Rutledge we had Deathloop from uh, Rob we had Gardens of the Galaxy congratulations that's a point to all of you okay. yeah. alright all right. for sequel Andrew you put Unk sequel Unknown sequel. Oh, unknown sequel. Okay, I was so gonna. Uh, the game I saw was Psychonauts two, so mm -hmm. I didn't use it. Mm -hmm. um, Rob, you put the world ends with you too. So uh, Neo, Neo, the world probably, ends with you. Yeah. Uh, fantastic. That's a point for you. Rut, you didn't put anything down for for a sequel. Some of the other sequels that I would have uh, accepted include Evil Geniuses two, New Pokemon Snap, Dragon Quest Builders two. Axiom Verge 2, uh, No More Heroes 2. Oh, wait, I thought, I thought Builders 2 came out last year. Did it? Yeah, I think. Uh, it Maybe. might have been that a, a port of it was this year then, yeah. Yeah, oh. a port, yeah. Oh, I got, and that those still count, yeah. Uh, oh, my God. I'm an idiot. Yeah, I think it was ported to PC or something. Mm -hmm. Well, still, there was a lot of ones on there. So, for a third game... Um, Otten said Hitman 3. Ah, fuck. <laughs> That's definite yeah. point. Uh, Rob submitted nothing. Uh, Rut said Wasteland 3. I think that that was a That might have been end game. of last year. Uh, I think so, because it was in our, uh, I think it was in our awards last year. Yeah. Was it? Yeah. Okay. Unfortunately, that was in August, and it was ported to Linux and Max, but that was in December 2020. I was just trying um, to think of games that had the number three in them. <laughs> the only reason I know of Hitman is because uh, I like watching the Giant Bomb and them do the hits miss. And I was like, oh, Hitman. <laughs> Some other ones that uh, I would have accepted would have been Orcs Must Die 3. Oh, that Stadia game. Well, it, Crash Drive yeah. 3. And Bravely Default 2. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's some bullshit. <laughs> You're probably hoping someone put that as a sequel. <laughs> for, for those who don't know, they released Bravely Default, and then they released Bravely Second, mm -hmm. and then they released Bravely Default 2. <laughs> this is why Japanese developers are the best. Specifically Square Enix. They just do batshit names. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh I've, just, I've just seen... Rutledge has not listed a fifth game in a series. Andrew, do you want to say what, which fifth game in a series you picked? Yeah, because we just talked about it. Ho Force of Horizon 5. Holy fuck! <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was my first one. I was like, oh yeah, we just mentioned that one. Uh, that's, a, that's a point to Otten. Yes. No point there for, uh, uh, for Rut. 
and Excuse me while I it. walk out the front door and dig a hole. <laughs> Make sure to dig the hole into the second tree. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and Rob got a Final Fantasy V Pixel Remaster, which oh. is a fantastic one. Hell yeah. Some other ones I would have accepted would have been Shin Megami Tensei V, well, yeah. Virtua Fuck. Fighter V Ultimate Showdown, and Samurai Warriors V. Oh. Hmm. Fantastic. So that ends the first mini game. You could have done and a you're six, all the number six. Having so much fun. Um, so currently, the points, the points stand in last place is rut with three points nice in second to last place is andrew with four points and in third to last place with eight points <laughs> is robert <laughs> i didn't think about that third to last thing. yeah okay so going forward uh the second part of our game uh is going to be five multiple choice questions mm. so uh starting off what i started with rut last time let's start with andrew here yeah so andrew netflix launched its own cloud gaming system um, included within its service was stranger things 3 and uh, stranger things 1984 uh, which of these other games was included? Was it oh. A, Solitaire, B, Street Hockey, C, Shooting Hoops, or D, Pong? Shooting Hoops. Shooting Hoops? Yeah, I'm positive on that one. That is correct. Yeah, because I was the one that, when we did the puck, I downloaded Netflix and was fucking around with them on the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, other games that were included in Some that very thing. interesting lineup were Cod Blast and Teeter Up. Yeah, it was. A, it, they're just they're like they're the games that you see in the banners as ads that you used to see. It's those mm -hmm. that level. It's <laughs> nice and nice and generic. Yeah. So Rutledge in 2021, how many companies has Embracer Group embraced? Is oh, it God. A five, B fourteen? C, 12, or D, 8? Rut got hosed. Yes, yeah, I can think yeah. of th three. <laughs> well, we know it's more than three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what. I'm... Three were announced in the last week. Yeah, so, yeah they were just, <laughs> there was just a news piece on one. Yeah. 12? No 12 idea. is incorrect. Ah. Oh. Rob, what do you think? 5, 14, 12, or 8? I think it might be 12. I, I was going to say 12. If, if I got this question first, I would have also said 12. I'm going to say now 14. 14 is correct. Bam. Now is name honestly, them all. <laughs> for a bonus point. <laughs> I've, I've got most of them written down here. <laughs> Jesus. The big one's Gearbox, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the one that just the last a, com was... a comic company, yeah, mm -hmm. Dark Horse Media. Dark Horse, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. that's just pretty big. So, Robert, you know me. I'm I'm wearing my Dungeons and Diners and Dragons and Dive Drive-ins and Dives shirt right now. Mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of Dungeons and Dragons. How many Dungeons and Dragons books from Wizards of the Coast were released in 2021? Oh God, was it A three, B one? C five or D seven? <laughs> D seven. Uh three. Uh A three? Yeah, I think. Unfortunately that is incorrect. Thank. Otten, what's your shot in the dark? Because I know no one else here plays. What were the, the three choices? One, five, or seven. I I want to say could it be more than one? I'm going to say one. The only reason I'm going with that is because I know we had that story about the Weiss and Hickman nonsense where they finally got that figured out for the Dragonlance stuff, which I don't have come out yet, but maybe mm -hmm. that was delaying some things coming out that they planned on having this year. One is unfortunately incorrect. Bummer. So Rutledge, it comes down to you. 50-50 shot and I'll still get it wrong. <laughs> Three, one, five, or Seven. Seven. That is the wrong answer. 
That's a second point to me. Can't, Ru- I'm oh, catching we're not up go, to you. We're not going to go round or robin again? <laughs> uh, unfortunately not with such limited answer. <laughs> uh, so now it is up to Otten again. Uh, during this year, there was a short period of time where it seemed like every second week there was a new record for a retro sealed video game being yeah. sold. How much did a sealed copy of Super Mario Bros. for the NES go for? Is it one million, two million, eight hundred thousand, or one billion? It's one million. One million? Yeah. That is incorrect. Dang. Rutledge, how much did this did this copy of Super Mario Bros. Oh, you're, which, this is the for? NES one. Fuck. Yes, that's what I said. Yeah, <laughs> the, I know where I fucked up now. <laughs> Two million. Two million is correct. And this was within weeks of an original Legend of Zelda going for about 800,000. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then there was another game in there as well that sold for. Oh, there, wasn't there a 64, Super Mario 64 that went for Super Mario a lot too? I believe so. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of, I think. Yeah, it, was, it was weird. I hope none of you listening have NES games that you opened. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a whole bunch of very old... Uh, oh, they're in my console bag, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, they're um, very protected. Right, here's another fun one for you. Oh, God. This is, they're harder questions, but I've given you guys four answers, so I kind of tried to balance it that way. You can only be wrong so many times. Mm. <laughs> in 2021, according to the website that I pulled this information from, which esport competition had the highest viewership? Oh. Was it the Free Fire World Series 2021 Singapore, the League of Legends 2021 World Championship, the PUBG Mobile Global Championship Season Zero, or the M3 World Championship? Um, that that first Free Fire World Series, the game was Garena Free Fire. Um, and then that last one is for a mobile game that I learned of today called Mobile Legends Bang Bang. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh-huh. fuck. So basically, I know the, it's the... not League. I'm fairly certain. Uh, I have never heard of the other two. Let's go with a shot in the dark. Um, the first one, the Garena, whatever. Garena Free Fire? Yeah. That would be absolutely correct. Yep. Yeah. That was a peak viewership of 5.41 million viewers. I just Ooh, remember uh, that within... name, Garena. That's it, yeah. They're they're one of those like mobile games that you wouldn't traditionally see, especially in the West, that is just huge elsewhere. Because mm-hmm. our tastes are probably wrong. And <laughs> this is probably it's our fault. It's, it's, for it's our fault. Yeah, it's for It's that it's that Seymour Seymour meme. Are the gamers are the gamers out of line? No. Just the is it me? Yeah. It's so society with that, that's wrong. Yeah. We have finished the second round of questions, so we're gonna go into another uh another mini game. This mini game is gonna be called uh which game released first? Mm. Oh, and I'm going to give you... Put them in order? No, no, no. You just oh. got to tell me which one is the earliest release. There's going to be three questions. This will be another one that I have you guys uh, sent to me in the chat. So, you know, each is from a, from a period of time. We're going to be doing September to December, then May to August, then January to April. And the January to April is going to be all kinds of confusing because there has been so many amazing games that have come out this year. So I'll just have you send me which which game you think is the earliest of a set of four games that I give you. Okay. So the first question is, which game released first? Halo Infinite, Deathloop, Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl, or Just Dance 2022? Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch. Yeah. I was like, known, known, known. Where the fuck is this game? <laughs> oh man. Um So Rut went with Just Dance 2022. 
which released November 4th. Mm. <laughs> so the correct answer was Deathloop, yeah. which Andrew and Robert both got correct. Hey. I just knew that was September and I was like, ooh. Okay, the next collection of games that we have, which game came first? Biomutant, Ratchet and Clank, Rift Apart, Dungeons and Dragons, Dark Alliance, or Death's Door? I want to say all three of you responded with Biomutant. Oh. And you are all correct. Fuck okay, yeah. I was like that. I thought Excellent that job. Play that Absolutely. game. I didn't play it, but I hundred percented it. <laughs> yeah, but all right. And for the last question of this mini game, which game released first? Hitman Three, The Medium, Little Nightmares Two, or Crash Bandicoot Four? Uh, I think that I have an unfair advantage on this one, and that I put together our lists for the awards. That's true. So I very recently <laughs> I wasn't at, even thinking. Of I that. very recently looked at all the <laughs> games. Now I hear that uh, that the medium is going to be getting a sequel next year. Going to release the large. It's, mm -hmm. it's going to be really oh awesome. Mm -hmm. Is it going to taste yeah. of what we all get in <laughs> Slack every is day? Is it going to have yeah, it? <laughs> The joke was almost as good as that game. So the answer that we got from uh, Rutledge was the medium. Unfortunately, that's incorrect. And from Robin Andrew, Hitman 3 is the correct answer. That was in January. <laughs> yeah. Well, so was the medium. That's where my brain was like, ah, oh, it's one of those two. But yeah. I think it was really early in the year for Hitman. It's. I would not have been able to do that. I'm glad that I'm on this side of the table. <laughs> So that ends the the second mini game. Our point total now: uh, third place, Rutledge with six points. Uh, second place is Otten with eight points, and in first with twelve points is Robert. Okay. So, pretty pretty defining lead. Um, you know, guys, come on, catch up, do better. <laughs> hey man, it's with, with this round robin stuff, he's got some easy ones, man. Uh, that's what I'm gonna yeah. blame, it to. blame it on. It's all you. Yeah, it's it's the game, not the players. That's right. That's right. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I get for randomly throwing together a quiz in twelve hours. <laughs> <laughs> um. So the next round that we go into, uh, this will be the uh penultimate round. This is the games we love. So these will be questions about specific games that have come out during the year um some of them you know hopefully should be easy some of them will probably be pretty deep cuts um and i wish you all the best <laughs> thank you <laughs> thank you is this and uh with that free is coming from mr game pass <laughs> yeah is this like free free choice or like multiple choice um this is mostly free choice if there is multiple choice i will give you the multiple choice there's okay. there's three in here oh that's actually okay this looks like it was planned but uh, everyone's second round of questions will actually all be multiple choice. Oh. That's kind of cool. Yeah, that's what people who plan things say. This looks like it was planned. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. We'll, we'll fix that in post. Back right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing a really so, great job. <laughs> <laughs> Scrappy, uh, this, this popular game this year introduced players to the Japanese-inspired Inazuma region. What game was that? Uh, Genshin Impact. Correct. <laughs> it was, in fact, the Game Award nominee's Genshin Impact. Mm -hmm. mm. Andrew, after being digitally delisted for a number of years, this side-scrolling beat-em-up with a fantastic soundtrack finally got re-released on current systems. What is this game? <laughs> and for a bonus point, how many years ago was it delisted? Dude, Rut's face. I'm just oh like, I don't... God. <laughs> so this, fucking this is no this is a big one you should know this one if you don't know this one that's a problem i am a problem <laughs> gaming so site it, owner that doesn't know jack shit <laughs> it's okay you just know how to how to publish articles and embezzle yeah <laughs> yeah so andrew 
was a game that was digitally delisted that finally got a re-release. What is the game and how many years ago was it delisted? I honestly have no idea. No? I do not know. I'm going to know as soon as you say it. I'm going to feel like a fucking idiot, but... Do you want to take a know. take a shot in the dark? I have. I can't even think of a beat em up. Do you want to take a shot in the dark as to how many years ago it was delisted? <laughs> sure. Four years ago. Unfortunately wrong on both counts. <laughs> Rut, what's what's your insight here? I got nothing. Oh no. Rob? Scrappy knows what it is. I, I can't believe I have to save the world with Scott Pilgrim once more. But uh, it's that, right? Scott Pilgrim saved yeah, the world? Scott Pilgrim saves uh, versus the world. Uh, first, okay. Well, cl- And how many years ago was that? I'm gonna say 10? It was, it was six to seven years ago. It was okay. delisted in December, and then it was relisted in a January. So it's kind of a gray area. Mm. <clears throat> hmm. Okay. Uh, Rut... A re-release of Super Mario 3D World came with a new side mode where players explore a series of islands as Mario with the help of Bowser Jr. To fight off the giant Bowser that appears, Mario has to turn into an equally large what? Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Just the, the deer in the headlights look coming off oh, you. He only plays meme games, all right? You're, he's out of his, yeah. his depth. I play Hunt Showdown and Halo. Yeah, and you, can't, right now. you can't expect someone to have played or know about Super Mario. Yeah. yeah that's pretty that's rude. rude. I can't that's think of the last time one of those came out. I know you talk about <laughs> deep cuts, but my God, this deep? <laughs> this isn't a deep cut. <laughs> yeah, it's so deep. Chris no, no, Pratt no, no. is Mario. Such a deep cut. <laughs> yeah, I, I have no idea. Have not played oh, it. Man. Have not looked into it. Wish I, I know, was after I'm garbage. Rhett. I know this one. <laughs> you know this one? Yeah. Can Ooh, I pass? Scrappy. No, Should scrappy? I? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. R- Robert, I was going to ask. Is no. it okay if you pass on this and we'll give it? We'll give it to Andrew. No. Oh, we're playing by the rules. See, scrappy scrappy just turn. just plays games where he gets to beat up high schoolers. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <Lots> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, not scrappy. Robert, does it. You... Go scrappy. Okay, you can you can answer or yeah. It's scrappy's turn. What what is I, it? It's Super Saiyan Cat. Okay. Yeah, it's a giant Super Saiyan cat. That is correct. <laughs> and that mo- it's called Bowser's Fury, <laughs> since you didn't say it. Rutledge has just silently mouthed the word what yeah. <laughs> into his microphone. You're a giant cat. Okay. You apparently didn't play all 3D right. World at all. I did yeah. not. Cats were a big thing. Nope, I did not. Yeah, maybe maybe a bunch of these questions are really just it's funnier watching your stunned expressions and and the confusion that it leads to. I mean, wait till uh, round. I anyone, I hear round four <laughs> has a lot of hunt showdown questions, right? So I think you'll be you you you'll come back, big comeback. <laughs> Everything I play is. I know one shooters. one piece of news about <laughs> hunt showdown. I hope it comes up. I know it. I know one. Uh, Robert, Yakuza like a dragon. Okay. introduced a pretty wild spin on the Yakuza franchise, turning it into an R- JRPG with job elements. Which of the following is not a job that you could give a character in Yakuza like a dragon? Is it A, idol, B, gamer, C, matriarch, D, fortune teller? I'm pretty sure gamer. Gamer is correct. Yeah. You cannot be a gamer. Didn't that Just come out another reason year? that we're oppressed. It, that didn't come out last year. That was a 2020 game. Uh, it got a it got a current gen port or a PlayStation Boom. port. Yeah. Hey, all of these games at least showed up on Wikipedia's list of games <laughs> released in 2021, <laughs> and for one reason or another, they're there. That's what matters. Hey, uh, hey, Otten. In uh-huh. 2021, how many legends were released for Apex Legends? Who cares? Uh, bonus points for any that you can name. I Is won't. it A, 3, B, 4, C, 7, or D, 1? Um, we're going to go 3. 3? That is unfortunately incorrect. Don't Rutledge. ask me their names. <laughs> how, many, how many new legends were released in 2021? Said Do you one, know any three, of their names? Seven. Uh, 3, 4, 7, or 1? One. Can you name any of them? No. 
Okay. Quit Apex Legends after season two. <laughs> I was really hoping that that might be a gimme for you, but I yeah. guess not. It's yeah. an online shooter. Yep. I miss Skull Town. <laughs> uh, Rob, any? Uh, we got three, four, seven, and one. I'm going to say four. That is correct. <laughs> and one of them is Seer, because I remember seeing a trailer for it at like one of the big shows. That is also correct. <laughs> we got we got three more. Any any other name guesses last, from anyone? Last Just throwing it out there. Yeah, yeah. Anyone else got one? Was Harvey. Loba this year? That's no. no. That was last year. Frank. <laughs> Just, <laughs> Just name Dave, Steve. Jerry, Stacy. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, the other three were Fuse, Valkyrie, and Ash, and that was according to an Apex Legend. Are you, like, this are you sure Legend this isn't is Rainbow Overwatch. Six? Isn't that Overwatch <laughs> names? Because Fuse, yeah. uh, Valkyrie, and whatever the other one you said were are all in <laughs> Rainbow Six <laughs> that, that Siege other one. Two. Hey, whatever, fuck. <laughs> no, no, Fuse, Fuse is is a is an Apex Legends. Yeah, yeah. I remember. I don't play this game about either. Fuse. Uh, Valkyrie is the one that is in like modified Titanfall armor or something. Yeah, I, I did a very very precursory look over everything. I just heard those three <laughs> and I was like Rainbow Six. <laughs> <laughs> um, so right, we're up to you now, correct? Sure. Yes. Okay. <laughs> this is gonna be a fun one. <laughs> oh God. Hey, yeah. Uh, this is another multiple choice. Okay. Um. What are the names of the four playable classes in Outriders? Oh, <laughs> the, game I, the game I quit after eight hours. Is it is it Joker, Flamer, Destroyer, Specialist, Trickster, Pyromancer, Devastator, Technomancer, Control, DPS, Tank, Support, or Psych Out, Burninator, Shooty Shooty, and Tech Geek? <laughs> This is whatever B was, I think. Can, what was the Trickster, that? Pyromancer, Devastator, Technomancer? Yeah. That. That is correct. Yeah. There it is. My, Good job. My eight hours paid off. <laughs> yeah. Back on I mean, the board. As long as, like, <laughs> as long as one of the names picks up. A uh, few questions to go now. Rob, in Total Rock's competitive shooter, Back for Blood, you don't play as survivors, but cleaners, and they do a good job of avoiding the word zombie. What do they call their brand of undead mutants? Ugh. Sp uh, special. Spe mm, I don't remember this one. <laughs> There's so much to forget about oh. in that game, and that's one of them. This was, uh, <laughs> this was like two months ago that this game came out, yeah, right? We all played it together. We all yeah. played it together. <laughs> and, and, I, uh, yeah. and I don't remember that. Nope, no guesses. So we nope. even made a comment on it. Yeah. <clears throat> Otten, what do you think it was? Um, what was the name cause they, that they gave to their zombies? They're called Ridden, I think. That is correct. Yeah. The Ridden. Because it's so fucking dumb. I was like, oh my god. Ridden, Walker, zombies. Why do we gotta have different I, names? I almost made a question of like, name some of the special Ridden oh, in I the game. And then I looked and there's like, a list of eight different special riddens. I didn't realize that, you know, there's three different variants of the boomer looking one. Uh -oh. I played it very little. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, uh, Rut, uh, is that right? Are we up to Rut? Oh, we're up to uh, me. No, we're up no, to Otten. Yeah, it's Sorry. Otten. Guys, I'm really good at hosting this. <laughs> <laughs> so, in June, Final Fantasy VII Remake was ported to the PlayStation 5, yeah. boasting all kinds of enhanced features, including a fix to a blurry texture on what object? Uh, Cloud's Door. Cloud's Door. Yeah. That's correct. Yeah, the that door was... at Stargazer Heights. It did they look required, like They required <laughs> a full, full next-gen port yeah. to fix that one dumb texture. That's the real reason that took away our award for best expansion. <laughs> <laughs> the door yeah not even yuffie <laughs> yeah i guess you can go to cloud's door in the yuffie dlc you spend like a little bit yep. of time there um and rutledge oh, in life is strange true colors oh. 
The protagonist, Alex, has the ability to interpret people's emotions as colors radiating from them. Fuck. Red is anger, blue is sadness. But remind me, what color represents joy? <laughs> <laughs> now, Rut, I know this is your favorite game this year, so don't fuck this one up. Yeah. Oh, God. If we were doing this on Twitch, I would be getting roasted in the comments. Um... <laughs> No, that's not true, Rut. No one watches our Twitch. <laughs> ah. <laughs> burn. <laughs> Self burn. Self burn. Self burn. Yeah. Uh, last live, seven months ago. Uh, you said joy. Yeah, what color represents joy? If red is anger, blue is sadness. Yellow? <laughs> that is correct. What? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah i would have accepted yellow or gold because some people seem to have differing ideas online so with that we got the points check in once more third place is rut with eight points second place Arden with 10 points and first place is robert with 18 points oh, God. so now <laughs> Okay. As we go into this final question, I bet it all. You're allowed to wager your points. <laughs> I'm just guessing. So you can you can tell Jeopardy? me how many of your points do you wish to wager? If you get it correctly, you can win that many points. Um, Yo, well, if you all get of it, them. we get to know something beforehand, don't we? So Rut, you're gonna guess all of them. Absolutely. And Andrew, you said you were going all in as well? No way, I'm just doing nine. Just nine. Nine, nine of your ten. That's right. That's so that you can't come live. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> That's right, man. Uh, it's like Jeopardy. If you bet it all, if you get zero money, you don't get anything. I'm already at least less, so YOLO. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to bet eight. Okay. Uh... Scrappy could bet two and still. Yeah. You could just bet two. <laughs> Guarantee or yourself at one least one second. Your place. Yeah. Okay. So, what we're gonna do is that I'm gonna ask a question, and it is gonna be very like, uh, you know, you're you're gonna guess a number, and whoever gets the closest without going over will get the full points. Whoever is the next closest will get the next number of points. Oh. Um, so on and so forth. Um, if everyone goes over, then it will just be whoever is the closest. So there's a chance that um, Rob could lose eight points and Rut could gain four points. And there's chaos, absolute chaos. This is what we're doing here today. Wow. So, and this will also be one, you know, type your number to me so that we can, you know, no one can conceal yeah. your, uh, gotcha. your guess. Gotcha. Which way? There we go. Oh, uh, yeah. So my question is, the final question in it for all the marbles, in 2021, how many reviews has TechRaptor published? Uh, oh my god. Uh, <laughs> interesting. So you have a chance to win all the points you've wagered, win half the points you've wagered, or lose them all. It's been it's been a pretty stellar year for games. <laughs> yeah. So, I now have answers from all of you. Uh, Andrew has said three hundred reviews. Rutledge has said two hundred and eighty four reviews. Oh, no. <laughs> and Robert has said forty eight point <laughs> six reviews. Oh. <laughs> oh, he went to he's a one dollar guy on Price is Right. That son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. You're that guy. <laughs> so, with that, did you manually count these, by the way, or did you use no, our, the report tool oh, our, on the back end? Uh, I wasn't dumb enough to count it by hand. Okay. I wasn't smart enough to use the report <laughs> tool. Yeah, so I you're know in that, between. I know that per per page of our games review, 
it gives you the option to select nine. And I just kept going back pages until I got to our first one of January <laughs> All right. and did nine That'd times the works. complete number of pages sure, and then fair. added on what was extra. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm it's big a, brain moves here. It's good math. So <clears throat> with that, that oh, our I wonder what it is. correct number of reviews for 2021 is 316. Oh, I'm so, so hey. before I submitted, so, I was going to put 325 and I was like, Ooh, I think <laughs> I'm close. So I backed it to 300. I knew it was close to 300. Cause I remember having a thought earlier in the year. I was like, man, we're averaging almost one a day. <laughs> That's crazy. It's, it's been a, it's been a pretty gangbusters year. That's not including any of the, I think I counted the other day and we've done 70 something tabletop reviews Yeah, as well. We, we usually do at least one, one a week. It, most time multiple so cool so with that the final tally for the quiz is in third place we have robert with 10 <laughs> points <laughs> in second place we have rutledge with 16 points and in first place we have Andrew Otten, our editor in chief, yeah. with nineteen totally. points. Yo, I definitely got most answers right. I, that was a fair win. <laughs> Which yeah. has been... who, who do you want to thank? Do you have anyone you want to thank out there? Shout out uh, just myself, because you know. <laughs> um, and that and that brings to a close our inaugural episode of the Tech Raptor yearly review quiz. Oh, this is yearly uh, now. Also, the yeah. official tool I've... says three ten. 310 it's wrong i counted <laughs> Fuck the tool. Yeah. who are you gonna trust the tool or andrew stretch uh, either way hey. i was closest <laughs> yeah yeah that's true <laughs> regardless wouldn't have counted. wait but why yeah, did Rutt um, get points Rutt did get points Rutt was on eight he went to 16. why he wasn't right oh no sorry he would have gotten half points so sorry he was 12. half points he was still shit. second but was but was still uh was not quite a second. <laughs> he, he wasn't as seconder as oh. he was before. Um, but yeah, with that, um, you know, let us know how how you went those playing it. <laughs> yeah, what point total did you get? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, we should we should probably say now. We hope you play along at home. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is over. We hope you play it along. We can. At home. We can. But you can only really play at home if that. you have three of you playing at once, because otherwise. <laughs> You can rack up more points than we possibly could. <laughs> so you can uh, we can just name this name this episode "Play Along at Home." We forgot to say, yeah, <laughs> and that'll be fine. Um, but yeah, that wraps it up. You know, if you're interested in checking out any of our 316 correct reviews, I don't know what that backend tool is doing wrong, yeah. um, or checking out more info in general about uh, video games and tabletop news and reviews. Uh, be sure to check out Tech Raptor. If you enjoyed this episode, um, let us know. This was something a little bit different from our normal, uh, our regularly scheduled programming. Um, as always, if you can leave a review or share this podcast with a friend, um, if you're watching via YouTube, subscribe and yeah, let us know. Uh, let us know how you went. Or if I was wrong in any way whatsoever with any of my questions or answers, don't don't tell us. That's fine. <laughs> Just leave that to yourself. <laughs> All right. Uh, with that, have a wonderful, uh, wonderful New Year. Quickly go to the bathroom and then we can get started. So okay. we're just going to collectively answer incorrectly, right? On purpose. Can we? Just can we mind. just enrage him? Can we answer <laughs> Crash Bandicoot? Just all, <laughs> every answer is Crash, Crash Bandicoot. Bandicoot. No, just PS One game, Crash Bandicoot, Spyro. <laughs> yeah. In The Last of Us Part Two, Abby kills this character, Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, I think, uh, that Crash guy. What was his name? That'd be a better game. <laughs> what Abby just kills Crash <laughs> yeah. Bandicoot. Clubs Crash Bandicoot to death at the beginning. Well, first it's like